Gainesville General Shelter is open here at Meadowbrook Elementary School. Inside evacuees have already started to trickle in. Now, earlier we were in Levy County. They're speaking with evacuees, and they say since they live in mobile homes around low-lying areas, they wanted to get somewhere where they felt safe. Do you have any concerns with this storm? No. I've lived, I've lived through every one of them. Helen Willis has lived in Florida since 1945. In her day, she's witnessed many storms living in coastal areas. Since she lives alone, she decided to take cover from Hurricane Ian at Brunson Middle High School. When my neighbors go off and do what they have to do with their families and stuff, I just don't want to be there by myself. I mean, I got a good sturdy building. I've been through a few of these and so it's, it's Kind of routine at this point. Judah Duran evacuated with his parents and brother. He and his family live in a mobile home. He tells us since Ian is expected to bring heavy downpours and a strong storm surge, they didn't want to take any chances. Better safe than sorry. For the folks that are old hat at this, they know what they're facing. And right now with the shift in the storm, it might not be as bad as they originally predicted. However, Lieutenant Scott Tubman with Levy County Sheriff's Office says because of the storm's intensity, flooding and strong winds can't be ruled out. He wants residents to monitor conditions and get out if they feel their safety is at jeopardy. I just want all of our citizens out there to be safe and pray for our partners south of us. They're catching the brunt of the storm right now. Hurricane Ian made landfall Wednesday, creating major concerns for heavy downpours, power outages and flooding. Officials have set up evacuee shelters and sandbag centers to help residents navigate through this storm. Page Hub reporting in Gainesville. Back to you.